Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Kendall's Corner. Well, I am fresh out the shower as you can see. I'm trying to let my hair air dry. Went back curly. I only kept it straight for two days and I went back to curls. <laughs> but anyway, um, go get your plates. Uh, let's eat. So, today I have my infamous replica of B-Love's sauce. I have some shrimp um, with the shells on. I wish I had got them now without the shells. Um, but I got some sausage, potatoes, cucumbers, and eggs. <laughs> and you know that was going to present itself. So, what's everybody been up to? Does everybody know how to pour beer? I think everybody should nowadays, but I have seen some people um, at the restaurants and it's like they don't know how to pour it and then before you know it, you've got uh, suds everywhere. But I did bartend uh, for about um, five years, I think it was. So I learned a lot. I had a good time and I enjoyed it. But anyway, I'm hoping everyone is having an amazing day. Ooh, the sauce is hot. It's hot, hot. Mmm. It's just something about that beloved sauce. Mmm. Or Smackalicious sauce. I forget um, what she calls it. But oh my God, it's good to my soul. Mm. Yeah, I am mm, preparing for my 16-year-old to go back to school. The summer's got to go by so fast. Seems like he just got out. <laughs> but it's funny because I see a lot of people saying, Oh, I'm glad they're going back, da-da-da-da-da. Hmm. Mm. Not mine. I can have my baby here with me 24-7. <laughs> and he is going into his junior year. I cannot believe that much time has already passed. But I think that's what everybody's doing right now. Yeah, I'm a grown man now. He thinks. <laughs> I think he thinks he runs me sometimes. I do. But I think the only thing that I don't look forward to with the kids going back to school is the bus traffic. Like, I'm literally about eight minutes from my job. And when the schools come back in, oh, my God. Especially, like, that first week. People act like they don't even, they don't know how to drive. Well, that's period around here, around Raleigh. But it's just the traffic that comes in. And, oh, my goodness. So, I'll need to start leaving out a few minutes earlier uh, to head to work. Because I have to pass by um, a middle school, which is actually my son's old middle school. And like I said, traffic through there is absolutely horrendous. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I don't have a small one. People with small kids, y'all supply list, I remember being there. They don't have to worry about that when they get older. All they need is really the basics. Or by the time they go that first day, they'll find out what they need. It's never wrong. To the extent, of course, of the younger ones. So, to all y'all with young babies, bless your souls. I'm glad I'm out of that stage. I don't think I would go back to that stage for no amount of money at this point in my life. Mm. 
egg. When B Love turned me on to egg and this sauce, she did something. She put it on the map. I like boiled eggs anyway. I can start eat boiled eggs almost every day. But that sauce to go with it, some kind of good. So, if all goes well, prior to this video, you all saw the video of me and my blazing boo Paula doing those volcano noodles. As you can see, that did not go well. I prefer the two times spicy. They have a better taste. Even though they are hot as all get up, they have a better taste. Those volcano noodles have like this sweet kind of, uh -uh. literally, I thought that I was going to vomit while I was eating them. <laughs> they were not good. Not good at all. We did both get down one pack, but I told her she'll have to come back and we'll have to do the two times spicy. And then as well, I'm actually going to do, um, there's another YouTuber. So, there's this guy, Nakado Avocado, and he's like the noodle king or whatever. Um, when he's making his noodles, and he does spicy noodles too, but he literally adds butter and mozzarella cheese to his noodles. And it actually looks really good. So I'm going to try that. That's going to be one of my meals I'm going to try. He is a mess. He's actually funny too. I love watching him. Mm. It's good, y'all, because I haven't eaten it out. So, this is my first meal today. I've been rolling. And it's not that I couldn't eat. I just, I've been doing stuff like, as I said in one of my videos prior to this, I'm getting ready to do a bathroom makeover. Well, my, my bathroom makeover. So, I've been kind of looking up stuff so I could price compare because <sighs> the way my bank account is set up, I need to get the cheapest possible. Um, but I think I finally come across the design. Um, I'm going to put up uh, a couple pictures like here um, that show you what my outdated, uh, bathroom of being in my home for almost 10 years now looks now. <laughs> and then I've decided on going with this look with my bathroom. I think that's going to be really nice. I think it's more modern. Um, the colors are soft, but bold. Um, and it's going to give it like, um, I don't know. I think a girly look. I'm going to put some bling in there. I think that'll be nice, though. So, I found my paints for my cabinets. The paint that I'm going to use on my wall. Um, as well, I, um, I've i kind of picked out, because I'm going to do marble um, on my floor, but I'm going to do, like, the peel and stick tiles. Because, like I said, I don't know how to do all that kind of stuff but so I have to find all the easy ways to do things um so I found the peel and stick tile in a marble no, excuse me. the only issue that it seems like I'm having is going to be my dual sinks um the way they're built together um i'm gonna put a picture like here so that's what my dual sinks look like um so i've seen where people literally just put peel and stick down up there but the way they're built i can't do that and then as you can see in this picture 
this house is um, 2000, was built in 2002. So you're saying it's, what, 17 years old? So you can see that that one sink I use all the time. Like, that's my main sink. And it started to crack. Um, I don't know what to do for that. If anybody has some ideas, please tell me. Because I would really hate to have the bomb bathroom and then I got this bummed out sink that looks cracked up. So, if you know, leave it in the comments. But I'm really excited. I think it's going to be pretty. I'm going to take my time with this. To make sure I do it right. And... I'm going to try to take y'all on the journey with me, um, but I can't wait for it to be over because then my next, I think might be in my bedroom. I don't know. Like I've said in so many videos before, my whole house, every room needed to make over. Well, except my half bath. <laughs> I did that a while back. I had to do it because... If we go back two years, I like to give um, parties. Like, I love house parties. My age, um, that's what you did. House parties, you know. It was always the the bomb to have. Because then you have your own little group. Um, you ain't having to mix and mingle with no people that you don't really want to or don't know. I'm funny like that nowadays. Especially the older I get. But anyway. <laughs> um... I did a humongous Halloween party. Um, me, um, my best friend Anita, and my other girlfriend Jolie, um, we uh, put together um, to have a huge like Halloween party. And it was really, really nice. Um, I spent, well, no, let me not say I spent. Um, we spent big money on that party because... Prior to that, I didn't have a lot of Halloween decorations. Not that I'm a ho not a Halloween fan, but my ex, he didn't believe in, like, he didn't want to decorate and the scary and all that, so. But this year, so that year, I had to buy a lot of decorations. Um, but it was so nice. Um, I'm actually, at the end of this video... I'm going to put up some clips from my party. And, I mean, my girlfriends, my two girlfriends that were there, they helped me. They were there, like, that morning of, because it was on a Saturday. And um, they helped me out with, the like, the cleaning and getting the food. Because I did, a, I had a full buffet of food. Um, I had a fully stocked bar uh, with a bartender. Um... <laughs> And I have a one car garage and I literally made that into like, mm, it was like five different haunted sections or whatever. Um, and it was games. So you had to, you play games in order to like win points, um, to either drink or, um, if you didn't drink, then I had those bean boozled things that you had to take. Um, it was nice. It was really nice. Um, I had a basketball hoop game out there. I had a darts game. Um, I also had one game where you had to like stick your hand in the box. And, and I think it was like six different boxes. And in three of the boxes, I had live items. <laughs> it was really, I, I was proud of myself. I did a lot of work. I started working on that like two months prior to Halloween. And, uh, my, my, as you could tell by the pictures, um, it was really in this video. I'm going to put up, um, more pictures, um, from my Halloween party. And that was what, this is 19. So that was 2017. I love decorating. I would say that was a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work, but it was worth it in the end. Worth it in the end. Mm. Now, also, um, 
when I turned 45, which actually I'm just thinking about it, it was that same year. Oh my God, I was partying up that year. Um, I gave myself a big party and I turned my um, garage into Vegas. So we had um, uh, different you know, different games that you play in Vegas or, you know, where you're gambling and all. Um, I forget all the names, but I'll put some pictures up at the end, too. So, for any of the people in my area that need some help or some assistance or they need a party planner, check me out. I have a lot of good ideas and I'm pretty daggone thrifty. But, yeah, I did it up. I like doing stuff like that. It kind of keeps my mind occupied. I always have so many things going on in my life at different points of some, you know, just just life in general. And when I can focus in on things like that, it takes away from my stress level. But I had a blast. Yeah, with two really, really nice parties. Oh, but let me say this. Now, if you do happen to contact me, now there is going to be a fee. There is a charge. I don't do this stuff for free. <laughs> it takes too much time, energy, and effort. <clears throat> so, thought about having a Halloween party this year. My cousin Key wants me to have one, but... Financially, right now, I don't think it's going to be suitable for me to do. I think right now is my time to be focused and pay off some of these credit cards. <laughs> and get myself to a better state financially. <clears throat> so... Mm. But maybe next year. And maybe next year. Oh. This is good, y'all. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat it all. Like, I've already cleared the back half of it. I'm going to keep going, though. I'm going to keep going. <clears throat> keep going. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mmm. <laughs> I finish up here I'm gonna go ahead and put everything that I need in my little Amazon cart <laughs> for this makeover and see what my grand total is I will be putting my cash up in the description box below in case anybody wants to help <laughs> My mom always said, if closed mouths don't get fed. Mm. So good, y'all. Oh, I know I knew. Mm. See, as I sit down and eat, like when I sit down here to talk with y'all, I never have anything planned out most of the time. It's just that throughout my day, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to talk about this. Or, oh, I'm going to bring this up. Or, oh, I'm going to say that. So it's just as I eat and talk, things come up. But look. I 
try my hardest to support black owned business whenever I can financially. But I'm gonna tell y'all what. Here lately, I done got the worst service from black owned. It irritates me so bad. Not responding, stuff like that. So, all that's just to say, if you are a black-owned business and you're trying to get yourself out there popping, just be sure you're always on point with your customer service. Because I'm one. I ain't looking for no discount. No, I'm not looking for no discount because you deserve to get paid the same way any other business owner is. So, if I'm paying full price, I need you to be on point. Because that irritates me. It irritates me to death. Be on point. <clears throat> oh my God. <clears throat> my pet peeves. What I need to do is do a daggone video of all my pet peeves. I, mean, I guess it don't matter to nobody but me anyway. <laughs> but, uh. I just expect a certain level to my customer service when I pay you for a service. Period. That's it. <clears throat> I hate to have to get ugly with people, but I will. Y'all, I'm thinking about getting an ASMR mic. And for y'all that don't know what an ASMR mic is, um, it's for those videos where people eat or they, they do different stuff, but it's noises and it's like magnified, I guess, on this mic. Um, like I said, if you're on YouTube, plug in ASMR. You'll see what I'm talking about. But I'm thinking about doing that. Then y'all can hear the good old crunches and stuff. Even though I know that's for certain people. Certain people like it. I like to listen to it. Never said I wasn't a weirdo when it comes to that. Just like I like to see people eat. We just all have different things that we like. <laughs> mm. Oh, well, it's on my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and give some shout outs. Um, I am Kiva. So, I just came across her. Um, maybe it was through some other subscribe um other channels that i'm subscribed to but she's just a chick like me like um but she gives out um different pointers for doing youtube uh she's been doing it for a little while um and it's just sort of like daily vlogging i really like her um we just hit it off right from the jump. Um, and like I said, we've never met. We just we just talked. And um, we've been speaking a bit more back and forth to each other through the different things we post. And so I just want to say I am Ki to I am Kiva, thank you so much for interacting with me. Um, I, I appreciate it. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I almost feel like you're this little lost sister that I have, you know what I'm saying? That this, this little sister that I have out in the YouTube world. Um, so thank you for being so kind to me, Kiva and, um, accepting me. And like I said, just, just talking to me and interacting with me. Um, it's funny since I've been doing this YouTube thing, um, you know, I'm not to say that, um, my close friends or or family members don't support me um but as far as the things that are needed for me to 
really grow and and develop and and pick up a following um the things that youtube pays a cl close attention to um as far as how people are interacting with you um whether it be just liking the video disliking the video i don't care whoever um this one little dislike i may get i don't those things don't bother me and what's so funny is i know who this one person is um for the most part, I'm not going to say all of them, but for the most part, I know who you are. And if you're watching, you are a loser. <laughs> I just had to say that. But anyway, um, it seems like maybe because these people are in YouTube world, they understand what you need um, to really get out there, you know. But it's funny because I've probably had about three people that left comments that I actually know. Um, all my other comments and stuff like that that I'm getting are from people that I have no clue, never met them. We just interact on YouTube. So I just want to say to I Am Kiva, thank you so very much. Um, I love uh, talking with you and I love for your posts because she's always giving up good key points um, for us new YouTubers. She really does. And she's so sweet. <laughs> so sweet. Um, and as well, um, one of my other shout outs goes to a young lady by the name of Soul Illumination. She's awesome. That's her. She has a page also, and um, she does a lot of um, inspirational um, type conversations um, as well as she does go live. And like I said, I've really been enjoying interacting in people's lives and talking back with them. And, um, you know, I have been going through a few things here lately. Uh, like I said, we just call it life. And um, I probably wasn't feeling 100% on my game. And um, it was so funny because I went into her live. Oh, my God. Was it Friday night? I don't know. I can't remember what night it was. But I went into her live. And the vibes that I got out of that was amazing. Like, you know, everybody was pushing positive vibes. They were pushing positive vibes positive words, um, words of encouragement, um, lifting me up in prayer. And I'm telling you what, I went to bed after I got off her live that night and I woke up that next morning and I was like a one feeling. So thank you, Soul Illumination. And thank you to the individuals that was in that live that night. I felt all of it. I did. I got up and scrub my house from top to bottom and I burned my um uh my sage uh, um just you know getting out whatever negative energy was in here that was making me feel that way um I just felt really good that day um so I thank them I thank them for all the positive vibes I really do so if that's what y'all are into uh, and you want to hear some good words please go check out again so illumination it's like it's so many channels out here i don't have time to watch them all and i'll be trying oh my god i'll be trying but it's like i have other things to do during the day i just can't be watch all day oh. but yeah so i wanted to give those two ladies big shout outs and thank yous hmm as well, I'm going to thank all of my new subscribers. I think I passed the 160 mark. I'm not sure, but I think I passed 160. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful. I remember when I had like 20 subscribers, as I've said before, and I was like, yes! But now to see that I am growing and... um. 
based upon YouTube, I must have actually like started my account back in um, 2002. Actually, my son's birthday, June 2nd, 2002. But I never posted up a video. I posted up my first video because um, I made a little boo-boo in my um, in one of my videos. But I actually posted up my first video um, June 3rd or June 4th. It was one of those two days um, of this year, 2019. So I've only been going now for not even, let's see, June, July 3rd, August 3rd. Not even three months yet and I've gotten there and like I said I didn't have anybody that was pushing me you know out there so other youtubers that knew me I just I started from the bottom and so it makes me feel really good that I'm I'm steadily climbing because I'm gonna tell you what it's hard I done said this before it's hard in these YouTube streets <laughs> And then, like I said, with these thresholds um, that they hold now, you know, that's that's a lot of hard work. But in order to get the amount of view time and the amount of subscribers that you need, um, I won't really complain because I feel like it gives you a chance to really grow, to really understand YouTube, and as well to perfect your craft. Um, like I said, when I first started, I had a basic old background it was a, a blanket up you know um and now i see myself now where i've learned how to use my green screen so i could be at all these beautiful places um i'm still learning about lighting i think my lighting is fine but you know professionals may be like ah, you could change it up a little bit <laughs> but um like i said i really feel myself growing and, and learning so that's the whole key point anyway so it's been a really good experience so far it has so that's why i've kind of been thinking about them like well you know everybody out there knows now that you love to cook you love to eat and you love to drink <laughs> so i probably need to incorporate some more things um that's why i said okay this um transformation of my bathroom might be good as well because i also do like to do crafting uh, i like making gifts for people um a couple of my co-workers robin my day um they like to tease with me uh and call me um sally craft maker or something like that they call me so um you know and i do my own painting in my house and and stuff like that so i think that'll be a really good journey for you all to join me on as well to see that i'm sort of that jack of all trades master of none maybe <laughs> Uh, but I enjoy doing stuff. I'm very frugal. And I can be cheap. So if I feel like I can do it on my own for cheaper, that's what I'm going to do. Whew. Well, y'all, I'm not doing too good on this plate of mine. I've got so much left. But that could actually be my dinner for tomorrow. But as you can see, I did clear half of it because I cleared this whole back end. <clears throat> but I think it's like my stomach. It's like, I, because when I created this, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to tear this food up. But then when I started eating, I was like, ah. Uh. But that takes us back to um, the noodle challenge that me and my Blasian Boo Collar did. Um, I just did last night. Uh, and um, them hot volcano noodles in my stomach. Uh, it ain't really feeling the absolute best today. <laughs> I kind of uh, started feeling that uh, in the wee hours of last night. And then my Blasian Boo texted me today and she's like, oh, those noodles made my tummy hurt. I'm like, ah, what you expect? <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is just wrap this up and it'll be my dinner for tomorrow. Um, because I already have my sons put off to the side. Ooh. But it was good. It was very good. Mmm.
So, I think I'm going to get ready and really close this one out. Like I said, I didn't have anything major to say. I just wanted to sit and eat with y'all. And then give a couple shout outs. Um, and then show you all and tell you all about my party planning skills. <laughs> be sure you keep watching so you can see all my party. Well, see my two parties that I gave here and see if you need my skills. So with that being said, I thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for staying tuned until the end because I know some of my videos are a bit long. I know. But all I'm saying is even when I do do a long video, even if you don't want to watch every bit of it, just keep fast forwarding it because you'll never know what you might hear out of my mouth. So. <laughs> but again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me. Please, if you have not, <gasps> click that subscribe button. I need those subscribers. <laughs> Check out uh, the other two young ladies that I spoke of earlier. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. As well, share me, pass my videos on, and please comment. I love to interact with you all. I, I love it. So leave a comment. Even if there ain't nothing but like good video or something, but leave me a comment. YouTube likes to see that. <laughs> we will call this finished. I love y'all. And as I always end out all of my videos, be blessed. I sure am.